Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how can we create a slider range in a page item by following the way of uh, five steps. First, I am going to create a empty region and page item. After that, I am going to create a page item here. And the type will be text field. And here I am going to set the appearance template as optional. Click save. Now you can see the uh, normal text field. So I am just going to convert this uh, text field into a slider range page item. Okay. So first thing is I am going to copy this code and paste in custom attribute section. Save. After that, I am going to paste this CSS code in CSS inline section save after that I am going to paste this JavaScript code in page inline section function and global variable declaration here save and finally I am going to copy this code and put it in page item pretext here so here I have mentioned like the values of 0, 25, 50, 7500 so according to our business needs, we can able to change that. So uh, and also I have mentioned here like if I just convert if the slider is showing us the value as 1, I am going to set it as 25. For example, uh, if it is slide, if I just slide the value as 1, it gives the results as 0. If I am just going to do the value of 2, it will give us 25. So likewise, I am going for us. 0, 25, 50, 75 and 100. So likewise we can able to increase the slider value or else we can able to customize their values. Click save. I am I'm, I'm going to run this. So now you can able to see like if I slide this value 0, if I click this 25, 50, 75 and 100. And this will not be the editable one so this is will be the uh, page item value so you can able to save this uh, page item value into our uh, DML process I hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching